Okay, so we will continue now with uh, the tutorial. We will set up all what we need in order to perform a behavior-driven development, all the tools that are uh, required. We will continue from inside PyCharm. We have copied here the readme with the tutorial, so it's more convenient to use it from here. Basically, the first thing that we have to install is Behave. Behave is the tool that will be responsible for reading the feature files where we will we be in specifying all uh, what we expect for every feature through a set of scenarios uh, detailing what is happening or what might happen for that particular feature. We will use a specific language that is called jerking in order to specify these scenarios and behave will be the tool responsible for interpreting these feature files and using them in order to perform uh, the tests that will check that our application is behaving as expected. So we will first install behave. Okay. The kind of testing that we are going to perform in the context of behavior driven development is what is called the end to end testing that goes from the browser to the database through the whole system. So in order to test our application in this uh, wide scope, we will need to interact through the browser with our application. We can do this by hand, just checking every scenario that we define for these features by hand and interacting, clicking and filling uh, forms in order to complete these uh, features and test that they are working. But uh, this is very time consuming and especially not very practical if we need to repeat this test very often okay so what we are going to do is to use another tool that will be responsible of automating the instructions in the feature files and interacting with a browser in order to automatically put them into practice and check that the expected results are obtained this tool is called splinter we will also install Splinter and this tool will connect with uh, the local browser that we have in our machine and so we will need to, to have for instance Chrome installed in our machine and in order to Splinter take control of the browser we also will need uh, in the case of Chrome the Chrome driver that you have here instructions about how to install it in different platforms and you can also do so using different package managers like apt for uh, linux or uh, brew for uh, mac or chocolatey for windows that is also a package manager you also have here an alternative that is to use firefox instead of chrome so in this case also through splinter we will need the gecko driver and in this case, we will use Firefox for testing instead of uh, Chrome. We need also to configure the test environment. So we can tell uh, the, the, if we want to use Firefox or we want to use Chrome, uh, where to find our Django application, how to start it, how to deal with the database and so on. We will do so through an environment file, Python file, that will define everything that we need to do in, in order to prepare our testing environment. We have already copied the code you have in the tutorial into the features folder, the environment file, and then inside we have copied all the code that basically is preparing the testing environment before we run anything we set up django and also configure the browser that we want to use in this case we're setting it to chrome but we can also use here firefox for instance and we also define if we want the browser to be displayed while running the test 
this will be with mode headless false. If we just leave it headless true, the browser will not be shown in the screen. But in case we need to know what's happening, where things are failing, and what's the situation, we can change this flag in order to see the browser as it performs the test. Then we also have functions that define how we prepare every scenario. So they are run before every scenario. They prepare the database and the testing environment, and also what to do after every scenario. In this case, what we are doing is to clean the database. So the next uh, scenario will start with a clean database, uh, and we will be able to test the, every scenario independently from the others. And we also have the after all function that is responsible for clearing uh, the whole testing environment and rem uh, removing uh, the browser that we have used for testing. This uh, is needed uh, to be available from the environment file. So you just need to copy all this code uh, there and you will be ready to start testing your application. 